it's already 1 a.m. and uh, I only have two and a half hours of sleep left kasi magte-training na kami at 3:30 a.m. and uh, today na yung resume ng training namin so this going to be a bit challenging talaga sa amin kasi mas maaga na kami gigising every day and uh, kaya ako nagpaalam kay Awi kanina kasi uh, pag doon ako natulog sa taas most probably hindi ako magigising kasi masarap matulog doon taas ang lamig pa so dito ako matutulog sa baba and uh, doon sa kwarto ng mga bata para pag nagising sila gising din ako and uh, there will be uh, no excuses for us lahat kami sabay sabay gising and pupunta sa court kasi yung court na pagtitraining namin sa Las Piñas pa kilakit pero this is gonna be more exciting more exciting na training kasi bukod dun sa gagawin namin training makikita nyo yung effort namin everyday na gumising ng ganito kaaga and uh, of course mas marami tayong mapapakita na mas magandang attitude pag sa mga viewers natin so I'm really happy na madadala ko kayo dito sa journey na to this is gonna be another training episodes uh, a bit harder than before so tingnan natin kung gaano sila maging ka-consistent so paalam pa ako kay Awi kala mo layo same house lang naman sa baba lang ako pero kailangan natin magpaalam pa ako magalit sleep na ako guys 2 hours of sleep and uh, we'll train coach coach titrain na mag stress na Ang training kayo ngayon Diyan Stress na Training kayo Josh Mag-alas stress na Ising na boy Mag-alas stress na Kaya kumayo It's uh, 3.30 am And uh, there's gonna be really challenging for everyone Pati sa akin So I want to see the consistency kung hanggang saan kami tatagal sa ganitong klaseng proseso pero I'm really excited to uh, to know what's gonna happen next so ngayon pagpunta kami Las Piñas kila and there's gonna be uh, training another training episode na gagawin namin uh, sunod sunod to and there's gonna be the start I'm just excited help us endure all of the pain emotionally physically for us to be more consistent in what we do Lord we believe in our dreams we believe in the capabilities that you gave us and we namin sa sayang yun ilang po Lord we really need your guidance every day kasi minsan nakakalimutan namin yung mga kailangan namin po ingatan niyo po kami and she's in prayer before we start listen this is gonna be a very big challenge for you you get me? Especially sa inyo apat, very very big challenge. You have to wake up 3 a.m. You have to sleep early. There are lots of things that you have to sacrifice. Now, the battle is not inside the court. The battle that you have to win is on and off the court. Most especially kapag wala ako. Most especially, ano ba yung oras ng tulog mo? Anong oras yung pahinga mo? You have to really conserve your energy. Pagdating mo dito, you have to be able to execute 100%. But hindi mangyayari yun. If your preparation will not be good. Hindi ka pwede pumunta dito ng puyat. Una-una, we always start 3 or 4 a.m. So kapag nangyari yun, and you, you went here, na puyat ka, or you did something else that you shouldn't do, mababaliwala yan sa'yo natin. Naitindihan niyo ako. So I, ad I adjusted to your time. I adjusted to your schedule sa lugar niyo. Now, I want to see the effort from you. Now, I want you to always remember the goal. I want you to always remember why we train. Always remember why we started. Always remember why you wake up 3 a.m. Always remember why you have to sleep early. Always remember everything but nandito ka. And that way, you're gonna have a good practice every day. Now, the training ends at 6 a.m. What happens after 6 a.m. until the next day, 
It's gonna be up to you. Paano mo conditioning yung sarili mo? Paano mo itrain yung sarili mo? Mentally. Paano ka mag-prepare? Physically. You get me? I'm gonna help you. You have to be able to help yourselves. Let's start. you to embrace the fact na injured ako. When you train, we'll do everything para hindi kayo maapektuhan yung injury nyo. And then every time we train, ayoko kong isipin mo injured ka. Hindi ka kaintindihan tayo? I want you to ready your mind. Ayoko kong iisipin mo na may tama ka. Ayoko kong iisipin mo na injured ka. You just focus on what you really have to do. And we'll do our best para mag-isip ng mga paraan. Para natatamaan natin ibang skill. Skills mo, yung ibang mga kailangan mo ma-improve nang hindi natin natatamaan yung injury mo. You get me? You really have to rest. Kasi nagtitherapy ka, tapos magtitraining ka. 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So yung oras na tulog mo sa gabi, kailangan mo talaga trabaho eh. And you really have to exert effort. And you really have to sacrifice things na mga dati ginagawa mo. Now you don't have to do it anymore. You really have to focus. A few months left, NCAA, a few months left, graduate ka na, you have to be able to know what you want to do after graduation. You get me? Now, before anything else, this few months left na meron tayo, I want you to be able to give everything you have do sa training na gagawin natin. Now, after ng training natin, regardless kung anong mangyari, hindi na natin problema yun. We just focus on everything. Kaya na tayo? Now, para sa inyong dalawa, we won't move, of course. Puro stationary ball handling, puro stationary shooting, quick pull-ups, puro ganun gagawin natin. Paulit-ulit, hindi ka pwede magsawa, paulit-ulit. For how many months? Hanggang sa pwede ka nagkamala, unti-ulit. You get me? Pause. One minute. Direction. You can go left, you can go right. Walk up a bagal. If you're gonna make mistakes, then make mistakes. It's okay. Watch the drop here, full speed drop. And then between the legs, step through. Drop, attack, drop, put your weight here, and then you step through. Then we pull up. Go! Go! Pag nagkamali ka at lagi tumatalsik yung bola sa malaking area natin, 
habol tayo ng habol. Now, if dito ang madalas nagkakamali, dito ang madalas sumatalsik yung bola, you face here, you face here. Para pang nagkamali ka man, tatama sa wall, you're gonna save time. Now, sa mga susunod na drills, observe mo kung saan ka madalas nagkakamali. Is it left? Is it right? And then you always face kung saan ka madalas nagkakamali. Doon sa wall. Get me? Save time. Listen, Joshua, you don't start your move right here. You get me? In a real game, kapag totoong tao to, you cannot start your move too close. You have to be able to start your move here. You get me? But you have enough time, enough space for you to counter. If makasunod siya, you can counter, you get me? You don't move here. You start your move here. You move here, hindi siya sumunod. You attack, sumunod, you counter. Observe the rhythm that you have. Ibig sabihin, yung rhythm mo, yun yung speed mo. Ito ba yung speed mo? Ito ba yung speed mo? Ito ba yung speed mo? You have to be able to recognize the kind of speed that you have para malagpas mo yun. Now, if this is the speed, try doing it like this. You get me now? More mistakes, more errors, okay lang yun. For as long as you're doing it full speed. Go. Full speed, come on. Go. Perfect.
behind. Okay, and stay, and then between the legs. Cross. To stay, look at the ring. Pause a little bit and then you're able to explode. Cross jump behind, pause, stop. Next one, up, stop. Saka na atingin. Chan, listen. Leg pause ka. Inakat mo yung ulo mo, tumingin ka. But you're not looking at the ring. You have to be able to show him that you're gonna take the shot before you attack. Moving your head left and right will not help. You have to be able to show that you're gonna take the shot. Let's go. go, go. Uh, the moment you look at the ring, it's not the moment to do the behind the back. Hindi mo pwede pagsabayin yun. Hindi pwede habang nag-behind the back, nakatingin ka na. Kasi yung bola nasa likod mo eh. Kahit tumingin ka dyan, you will not look like as if you're gonna take the shot. Kasi yung bola, andito pa sa likod. It's still traveling from left to right. That's why I want you to take the pause, pause, tingin. The ball should end up with the right hand already before you take the shot, before you look at the ring. Hindi ka pwedeng tumingin habang nagbe-behind the back, hindi ka mukhang titira nun. Hindi ka pwedeng behind the back, nagbe-behind ka, tapos nakatingin ka sa ring. Kahit tumingin ka sa ring, he will not commit kasi hindi ka naman mukhang titira na nakaganto ka. The ball should end up with the right hand. This is just a start. The energy level, kapag nag-uumpisa ka na isang bagay, it's very high. The excitement is very high. Everything is there. Now, the challenge is, how are you gonna be consistent after a few weeks? After a month? After two months? Hindi ka kaya hindi tayo? You're running out of time. And don't act like you have plenty of time. Don't act like before ka matulog, okay lang. Okay lang ako magpuyat. Bukas, babawi na lang ako. You cannot think that way. You have limited time. You understand? Now, just remember, you have dreams, you have goals. You have things that you want to have in the future. Everything that you do right now, 
will affect what you want to have a year from now. You make sacrifices now, you make your effort now, give everything that you have. And both of you, I don't want the injury to be an excuse. You get me? But in your part, you don't want to slow down. I move baby injury mo. To the point na nasasagad ka. I know because you have this kind of mentality that you don't want to slow down, gusto mo tuloy tuloy, and you want to go hard every day. But part of being mass mentality is that being wise. You get me? You don't have to rush. Everything will have its time. For now, do muna tayo sa pwede mong gawin. But make sure yung mga pwede mong gawin will do it full speed. Bibigay mo lahat ng pwede mong bigay. Doon sa mga pwede mong gawin. And habang tumatagal, habang naging okay injury mo, of course, mas marami yung mga options natin, mas marami yung pwede natin gawin. Huwag ka magmadali. Kakaan ka nito, ha? You understand? No. It's gonna be 3 a.m. every day. It's gonna be a little bit harder for you. A little bit of challenge. Sa part ko, sa part nyo. I wanna see the consistency that we have. There will be days na pagod ka. There will be days na you cannot wake up at 3 a.m. There will be days parang ayaw mo mag-ensayo. But I want you to endure that kind of pain. Emotionally, physically, mentally. Gusto ko lagpasa mo yun. And always remember, why are you doing this? At the very first place, for how many years you've already trained? For how many years you've already sacrificed a lot of things? For how many years you've already showed your effort? Don't put all of those things into waste. You get me? The battle is won before we train. It's easy to win in the training because I'm here to support you, to guide you. But before we train, the preparation, that time, the preparation time, it's because no one will guide you. Anong oras ka matutulog? Anong mga pagkain yung dapat mo kainin? Anong klaseng ensayo yung dapat mo gawin? Anong klaseng pahinga yung dapat mo gawin? You should be able to conserve the energy para pang nag-ensayo tayo, you can go all out. Maybe then you know. I'm gonna help you. You have to be able to help yourselves. You have to be wise. Kung talagang kailangan mo ipahinga, at this moment, ipahinga mo. But make sure that kind of rest is a part of the program, is a part of the training that we do. You don't rest when you want, you rest when you must. I want to see the full effort, I want to see everything. Give me everything that you have, give me everything that you can do every single day. Not for me, but for yourself, for your dreams. This is just the first day. First day is easy, second day easy, third day is easy. Tenth day is a little bit harder. Twentieth day is a little bit harder. On the first month, it's gonna be harder. It's because it's yun. It's the consistency. So this is not the challenge. The challenge is how are you gonna keep this kind of schedule? This is easy. A month from now, it will be way, way harder than it is right now. Yun yung paghandaan. But for now, at least we started. At least we've we've already gathered and started the training. It's a good sign. Pero ulitin ko. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. Sacrifice all of the things na ginagawa mo before tayo mag-train. All of the things na hindi mo na pwede gawin. All of the things na mga dapat mo na isakripisyo. Because again, you're running out of time. You have limited time. Don't act like you have plenty. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Uh, we thank you for the, for the opportunity that we have not only to train but to, to be together again with Kim and Kit na makasama sa insight namin. Yun lang po, Lord, this is gonna be really harder for us. This is gonna be really tough for us. And we really ask for your guidance. Ingatan niyo po kami. And please uh, forgive us for the sins that we've committed kahit alam namin na hindi naman dapat namin ginagawa pero minsan nagagawa pa rin namin. Lord, ingatan niyo po kami. Please guide us every single day. Pati si Jolo na wala dito. And our family, of course. And yun lang po. In Jesus' name, pray. Good job. Good job. Good job. about the uh, excuses na ginagawa ng normal players na injured ako, dapat magpahinga ako, dapat di ako mag-train, sabi ng doktor gato, sabi ganyan. Well, for me, uh, that's a common excuse na hindi na, hindi na nila napapansin. It's unconscious. They've been doing that unconsciously for years. Hanggang sa hindi nila napapansin, uh, 
imbes na gumagaling sila while they're injured instead of making a way, lalo sila bumabagsak. So kanina, uh, baka nagtataka kayo bakit hindi gumagalaw si Kim at si Kit dun sa training like dun ginagawa nila Christian. It's because uh, yun yung injured sila and iba yung training program na meron sila na ibibigay natin. So mostly stationary ball handling or kapag uh, medyo siyempre sa mga tuhod nila katulad kanina naka, naka, nakaupo si Kit and he still do ball handling tapos yung isang ginawa niya is yung nakatayo with one leg uh, puro crossover na mabilis with tapping the walls which is uh, very effective para maging active yung offhand niya at saka yung balance niya and at the same time hindi tinatamaan yung injury niya so yung training ng Manila Christian kanina it's all about uh, being able to change direction with a full speed so madalas kasi when we are in full speed we slow down before we change direction which will make us very limited so if we can do a change of directions while doing full speed or sa fast break in the mga ganong scenarios pero again hindi naman always kailangan ganon sometimes you really have to slow down and read the situation pero may mga sitwasyon din na you cannot slow down you have to do it in a fast move so yun lang uh, ang training nila Christian kanina it's about uh, being able to change direction as quick as they can being able to finish with a quick pull up so mga scenarios na gagawin nila yan pag fast break or mabibilis na sitwasyon so sila kit standing position stationary ball handling pero sabi ko na sa inyo ibang program na gagawin lakit ni Kim especially sila dalawa uh, ito mga susunod na linggo or a few months paulit-ulit lang lahat stationary ball handling or shooting na hindi maapektuhan yung tuhod nila we're just trying to find a way instead of making their injury as an excuse so yun lang guys madami kayo matutunan this is gonna be season 2 so mas marami tayong mga cover up na questions please watch and please take down notes you will really learn a lot guys this is Coach Mav I'm gonna see you again and God bless you all so